the two global models you hear about the most are the American and the European. The American is officially called the Global Forecast System Model, or GFS, and is created and operated by the National Weather Service here in the U.S. And this is no rinky-dink forecast. Now, it uses a supercomputer considered one of the fastest in the world. The European model is officially called the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecast and is the result of a partnership of 34 different nations. Looking at last year's forecast, the European model did do better than the American, especially when we were one to two days out from a storm. Now that's according to the National Hurricane Center Forecast Verification Report. According to the Washington Post, that's because the European model is considered computationally more powerful. Now that's thanks to raw supercomputer power and the math behind the model. No matter how much computer power you have, you still need humans to interpret these models, and that's where a skilled meteorologist comes in. They look at the models, weigh their strengths and weaknesses, and consider the circumstances for each storm. And that's how they let us know when to be of concern and when to stay calm.